Onopalava. My place is here now. Nothing I can do. Oh no, Palava. And where do you think you're going? On the ship? No, you're not. Orders from the Commandant. Are you going to take a break at some point? So you can sneak on? Think I was born yesterday? Swig of grog? Don't mind if I do. Now can I go onto the ship? No. Well, I'll be off then. Mind how you go? Yes, I'm Miguel, storehouse master here at Puerto Isabella. And what can I do for you? Have you goods you can sell me? No, my wife Sophia handles that. I thought you were the storehouse master. Like I don't have enough to do? All the paperwork and stock keeping? And since Alcazar instituted rationing, everything has to be double-checked. Bookkeeping's a very nerve-wracking business, you know. Anything goes wrong and it's me who gets blamed. Maybe they should pay you danger money. I just want people to appreciate how much work all this takes. People. They really are a bunch of ungrateful bastards. You said it, my friend. You said it. You seem to be a man who gets around. You could say that. There are some cargo crates lying on the beaches. It's all stuff that's been washed ashore at some point. And you want me to bring them to you? I'll reward you handsomely for it. So think about it. Why the rationing? Purely a precautionary measure. It's all because of that pirate crow. Until we know how much of a threat he is, it's best to be careful. Who knows how long we might be here. What do you know about crow? He just suddenly appeared offshore one day and attacked one of our outposts. Only Alcazar's quick action saved the colony from being looted. What did he do? Seized and sank a crow's ship. Pity about the provisions aboard. We could have used them. So what's Crow up to now? He's lost his ship, but he's still somewhere out there in the jungle. Pirates. There's no end to the trouble they cause. So I'd be careful if you're planning on going out there. Alcazar's playing a waiting game with him. That's why we're on rations. This colony, quite a place. It's a foothold, really. A base to expand out into the rest of the continent. The lowest level is in the harbor, where you'll find a gate and the storehouse. It's forbidden for you to go there, though or onto the ship. The central levels, the craftsmen and pig farmers. Commandant Sebastiano and his protectors are up top in the garrison. Anything else I can do for you? Where am I allowed to go? Not into any of the buildings, particularly the storehouse or the ship. And the garrison? You'd have to see Commandant Sebastiano about that. Any other entrances into this place? A path through the valley to the central level, guarded of course. And then there's the main gate up near the garrison. That's guarded too? You even have to ask. Monopalaba. You're looking at the guns. Beauties, aren't they? The muzzles were especially cast for this expedition. Got a much longer range than most dead guns. Nice. Nice. Nice! What do you see here are the finest cannons ever made on Caldera. You're the cannoneer, right? Is it that obvious? Just a bit. Understatement of the year, right? Fact is, sometimes I get a bit carried away. Cannons are my life, though. I love them. You, uh, know much about the sea? You look like a sailor. I served under Captain Steelbeard. The Steelbeard? You're a pirate. You've been in sea battles, then. I'd love to be in a real sea battle, me. Why are the cannons facing seaward? We've got muskets to keep the Moluccas at bay. 
But what if a ship comes? Crow's tried his luck already, cheeky bastard. But the Black Betty gave chase and sunk him. Are those all the cannons? No. There's more on the towers. So we can catch the enemy in crossfire, see? Have you ever served aboard ship? Of course. Cooped up in the dark, being pitched this way, rolled that way. Takes a master cannoneer to fire off a good shot in that sort of situation.
Go! Please go on, get out of it! trouble. You brought this all upon yourself. So why not sell it and make a bit of money from it? Hmm. I don't... He never uses it. Hmm. Are you the blacksmith? Mm -hmm. Hammer, apron, anvil. Any of that starting to say blacksmith to you? Another bloody idiot. Can't be any worse than those protectors, though. The state they keep their weapons in. Bloody disgrace, so it is. But who do they blame, huh? <laughs> who has to fix them? Perhaps I can help. You sure you know your way around a forge? Well enough to make a few blades for you. We'll see about that soon enough, won't we? When you're done, I'll tell you if you're right. Could you teach me your craft? Tricks of the trade, eh? That'll cost, mind. I'm not here doing this for the good of my health. And no haggling. I can't be bothered with that bloody long-winded nonsense. Okay, let's get cracking. Here are blanks to make five swords. And remember, a sword's not just for mindless thrusting. Speaking of thrusting, I'll have to go to my hut for a while. What have you got? I don't like browsers. Are you buying? If they're any good, I might be. Well, take your time. It's not like I've got more important things to do than wait on you. What have you got for sale?
Shiny. Hey, stop doing that. Perhaps you're lost. I hope so. I finished the swords. Hmm. They're not terrible, I suppose. We may make a smith of you yet. I suppose you'll be wanting some kind of payment now. Well, if you're offering, I wouldn't say no to some gold. Gold? We can do better than that. How's about the hilt of a king's sword? Don't look at me like that. See how it shines. Huh? This is much better than gold. You find the blade, put them together, then you'll see something special. A smith, You'd better not touch a real anything. metal man, he'd appreciate the worth of a thing like this. What have you got for sale? Can I use that forge? No, I don't have time right now. It's not yours.
pistols, bullets or powder. More bangs for your buck. That's what Webster provides. Can I use that workbench? Do you sell muskets too? Ah, the noble musket. The very thing a discerning young gentleman needs by his side. But woe betide you if your weapon ends up in the wrong hands. So do you have any? Of course. But I can't sell muskets to any young gentleman who walks in off the street. I need Commandant Sebastiano's consent first. What's Sebastiano's consent got to do with anything? It seems the young gentleman hasn't been paying attention. The savages are giving us enough trouble as it is, to say nothing of the pirates. If they should get their dirty hands on our muskets, well, who knows what might happen? Show me what you've got. Well, well, look what the tide dragged in. The pirate. You know who I am? It's not exactly a big place. News travels fast. Do you know anything about this area? Enough to know that you need to watch yourself out in that jungle valley. Why is that? Because if the animals don't eat you, the Malukas will. Bloody savages, the lot of them. They're cannibals? They're savages. Isn't that the same thing? All for me. Hey, what are you up to, buggering around here? Stupid bastard, you'll scare away all the game. What are you doing here? What do you think? I'm hunting. Where I was till you scared off everything on four legs. I'll get that bastard Jaguar one of these days. Probably in its cave, listening to you crashing about out here. What sort of Jaguar? The kind that eats stupid bastards like you. Well, I was going to offer to help you. But... <sighs> All right. It's been troubling people here for too long. But no one knows where its lair is. But I do, though. I've tracked it down. To a cave? The one just over there. You need help? If you're offering it, then yes. Follow me. I did knock, but I didn't expect to find a woman of your stature in the garrison. I apologize profusely if I disturbed you. Of course not. So rude of me not to introduce myself. I'm Isabella Dolores de la Florentina, daughter of the Commandant. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. So what do you do here? Fashion is my passion. I've been researching. I have a vision and new look for noble women. Leopard print. It'll be huge. Animal skins, horns, feathers. Not like the icky natives clothes. Wild, but classy. Exactly. You understand there's a market. Hmm, okay. But you'd need to get all the right equipment. Animal trophies are much sought after. Y yes, but I mean, you need to remove the skins. Oh, I have both a hunting knife and pinking shears. Say, are you going to be in town long? You want me to help you with something? Oh, you are so sweet. Well, now you mention it, do you? 
you think you could get me some materials for my designs? Animal trophies, I'm guessing. Well, a jaguar skin would be nice. You can use my knife to skin it. For accessories, I wanted some fangs and maybe a tusk. You'll need a jaw chisel for that. And it would make me so happy to have the feather of a firebird for my hairpiece. The natives could show you how. Please say you'll help me. I'll do what I can. Thanks. Here's the knife. Maybe I'll make you a reward. Do you like it here? Oh, yes. It's so inspiring to someone creative like me. We are creating a new world. Though I suppose the fact the old one is at war is less good. Shiny. Are you still here? After her death, he supposedly broke a tooth from her comb after every fight. When only one tooth was left, he set out for the Crystal Fortress, where he intended to finish his vendetta and then bury the comb. That might be worth remembering. doing in here? Follow me. Let's get going. Here we are. Okay. Quiet and careful from now on. You've got a gun? Now's the time to get it out. Jaguar's dead. Nice work. Tito will be pleased. Here, bit of a reward for you. I'll go and see Tito then. Leave it out, mate.
you've got here. Day in, day out, always the bloody boring same. Looking for Tito? That's me. Tito the Butcher. They need butchers out here? They do if they want the best kinds of meat. If you're hungry and have gold, then I'm your man. Is meat all you've got? Aye. You can buy weapons from the Smith from Webster's. But if it's pork you're after, just pork? Just about. It's not my fault, mate. Blame the rationing. But I can make you up a nice package. Pork steaks, pork chops, pork belly, all the good stuff. Okay, I'll take a package of meat. This is just between you and me, all right? You win. I'll do anything you say. As you wish. What have we here? Pirate, are you? Good man. Well, pull up a pew and come join me then. Plenty of room. <laughs> Inquisition seems fond of you. Letting you roam about as you want, eh? I made a deal with Sebastiano. Ha <laughs> ha! And here was me thinking you didn't make deals with pirates. I'm not part of Crow's crew, if that helps. Then I'm wondering just whose crew you are part of. I'm here with Captain Steelbeard. Steelbeard's here? Now that's interesting. So, why did you land here? Captain's idea. We weighed anchor in a small bay not far from here. The captain, he took off into the jungle with a troop of the lads alongside him. You didn't go with them? Not me job. Ships cook me. Fighting someone else's duty. Closest I get to danger is boiling up lobsters. Nippy little bastards they are. There's a watchtower not far from that bay. Aye, manned by a couple of Inquisition novices. Easy pickings for the captain. What happened then? Well, we raided the Watchtower food stores, and I started cooking up a nice stew. I mean with the Inquisition. Oh, well, we saw sails. One of those bloody big Inquisition warships. <laughs> I was all for surrendering then and there. Only some bloody fool hero wanted to stop them boarding us. Full broadside of cannon fire soon put paid to him, and the rest of us. You were the only survivor. Ship's cook. I know all the best places to hide and avoid the argy-bargy. As if we ever stood any chance against a boatload of protectors. What happened to your ship? The ghost. At the bottom of the sea, now, more's the pity. She was an ugly old bin. But she always got you where you wanted to go. Locked me up to rot here, they did. Bastards. No, I don't have time right now. <laughs> Nothing I can do. No, I don't have the time right now. Hey, you. What's this? A pirate on the loose in Puerto Isabella? Give me one good reason why I shouldn't have you clapped in irons. The gatekeeper let me in. 
I don't care how you got past some idiot gatekeeper. Speak. The Commandant knows me. Sure he does. Suit yourself. But the Commandant won't be happy if he hears you gave me grief. All right, but if I find out you're lying, I'll mess you up something terrible. So can I see him now? You may speak with the Commandant. Mind you keep a civil tongue while you're about it. Watch it, boy. Don't make any trouble here. We're watching you. I saw you, you cur! You! What are you doing here? Don't you have a mission on Takarigua? Nice fortress you have here. Yes, a great deal of work's gone into it over many years. I'm looking for Crow. He's got the weapon I need. That devil! We sank his ship! Not that he was aboard at the time, confound the man. Now my scouts tell me he's in cahoots with the Malakas. Gone to ground in some heathen temple of theirs. The Earth Temple, I think they call it. And what if the weapon had been aboard? That weapon is the devil's work. Bottom of the sea is the best place for it. I doubt Crow would have gone anywhere without it anyhow. All he left aboard the Ghost was a skeleton crew. All dead now, of course. Except for one prisoner, Hawkins. Have you any idea what they're up to in the temple? There's only one reason Crow would be interested in these Malakas. Black magic. It couldn't be anything else. Has Hawkins told you anything? Nope. He's played it dumb thus far, the insolent dog. A fellow pirate might have more luck loosening his tongue, though. Just make sure he knows what's coming to him if he doesn't start talking. I'll have a word with him. Be my guest. You'll find him at the foot of the garrison tower. I'll deal with Crow. I've had the temple under surveillance. Trust me, you can't do it alone. Then join with me. My duty is protecting Puerto Isabella, not attacking heathen temples. You won't have to, I can do that. You want me to hand over my protectors and leave Puerto Isabella undefended? A few good marksmen are all I need. But you didn't sail here alone? Where are your pirate chums? Guarding the ship. Drinking themselves into oblivion, more like miserable rabble. As ever, when there's heroes' work to be done, it's all down to the Inquisition. You're the best, after all. It goes without saying that the Inquisition is a superior force. But if we can't follow orders, we're no better than a rabble. Discipline. That's what it's all about. I have my orders, too. Good man. I sent a chap to scout out the temple. Let's see what he has to say first. His name's Venturo. Find out what he has to report. Then I'll decide if I'm going to help you. Where are your scouts? At the Earth Temple, where Crow's hiding out. Go to the gate next to the garrison. Aguilar will fill you in. I need a better weapon. The quality of our blades is justly renowned. But I think our muskets will be of interest to you. What have you got for me? Fine blades can be forged from copper. And should you need pistol ammunition, you can stock up at Webster's. But you'll want a musket above all else. Alcazar, we might have to send a few chaps on a special mission. Yes, sir, Commandant. Any suggestions for volunteers? I can think of a few... specialists. Jolly good. Off you pop. I don't wish to be disturbed. Those who sneak about are rarely up to any good. What do you think you're up to? Please, don't interrupt. I'm trying to think. Got a problem? I just need to remember something. Maybe I can help. No, it'll come back to me. At least I hope it will.
brought you some animal trophies. Show me. A few fangs. Could you not find any predators? I, I mean, thank you. Lovely. A jaguar skin. Only a little mangy. It's perfection. Oh, I am so thankful. After her death, he supposedly broke Treat this place with respect. Fine. When only one tooth was left, he set out for the Crystal Fortress, where he intended to finish his vendetta and then bury the girl. That might be worth remembering. Now listen here, men. I need volunteers for a very special mission. That means the port will... Watch it, boy. Don't make any trouble here. We're watching you. Stand to attention. Hey, you! I need to find Ventura. You're miles off in that case. So far as I know, he's somewhere around the big temple. Well, you're gonna have to find your way there first. Go and see Torres. He'll stop you getting lost. Head out in that direction and follow the path to the crossing. Keep going straight on from there, and you'll soon see a tower. That's where Torres is. He'll show you the way. But stay on the path if you don't want to end up worm food.
got four legs and a tail, I can kill it. Don't touch anything here. On a palava. On a palava. Here, take this meat. Tawonga, Gucho. Now we will talk. Can you help me fight Crow? What are you? Look like a pirate, yet talk like a blue coat. I'm still trying to figure that out myself. Crow is a liar. Yet Bakia and the Tonkas all follow him. The way he brings with him are not good for my people. So why do they follow him? He has power. He carries the spear of the Tiwas. The Titan Harpoon? Do you know what he plans to do with it? He will call the Tiwas, as it was done thousands of years ago. The Tiwas? Hidonguchu. Do you know nothing? The Tiwas are everything and everywhere. In the fire, earth water and sky. Once they were subjugated and sank into a long sleep. Titans? You're talking about the Titans? If that is what the Guchos call them, then yes. What will happen when the Tiwas return? Nothing good. Not for your people or mine. The Tiwas are angry. Angry that they have been forgotten. With the spear, Crow can use their anger for himself. They will do what he commands. Then I need to stop him. Gee, but I am a prisoner here. I cannot help you. So what should I do? Go west. Find my people. The Shaganumbi. Talk to Chani. Chani? Who's that? The daughter of Bakir. Her voodoo is strong. She will know what to do. Nothing I can tell. I've got the wine you wanted. I knew you wouldn't let me down, love. Don't worry, I won't see you go short. I'll take as many bottles as you can find. Here's another bottle. Thanks, love. 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 Let's trade. Pay me to stand guard, not talk.
Well, look what we've got here. I was... What? Not up to anything? A likely tale for a pirate, but you're not one of Crow's boys, are you? How do you know that? You leave a trail as wide as Commandant Sebastiano's backside. The prince from those boots and you round here. Not the boots, though. Just you. You're following me? You think a pirate comes into our city and we wouldn't watch him? Pay attention, pirate. You're always being watched. Any idea how I can get to the natives' camp? You think I'm going to give you directions to our enemies? You'll find them, but don't say you weren't warned. There's no trusting the Malakas, if you even make it that far. The jungle. Is it dangerous? Why, are you scared? It's dangerous all over, but we have the coast under control. It's inland you want to be careful. The things there get wilder the further in you go. Jaguars. Further north, giant insects. And I mean giant. But the natives are even worse. You never know when they might come at you out of the trees. Shiny. I'm ravenous. Berries are all I've had for days. 
No worries, I've got food to spare. Seriously? Thanks, fella. You're a lifesaver. What are you doing out here? Alcazar sentenced me to patrol the perimeter. Bastard said it would be good for me. A nice juicy steak, that'd be good for me. Why were you sentenced? Someone had left their food ration lying around. All I took was a couple of chipolatas. <laughs> How was I supposed to know they were the commandants? Got anything to eat, fella? Anything, even a piece of cheese. Don't you ever stop being hungry? I'm a growing lad. I've got a fast metabolism, that's all. I'm all skin and bone, see? There's not an ounce of fat on me. Here, have something to eat. Cheers, fella. Has anything been happening? All quiet. No Moluccas. No pirates. Well, except you, of course. Pork chop. A rare steak. I'm watching you, pirate. Filthy beasts. <coughs> No, I don't have time right now. I'm watching you.
What we got here then? Pirate, are you? That a problem? Only if you're one of crows, men. But you're not, are you? You can stop and warm yourself if you like. Just don't make any trouble. What are you doing out here? Guarding the prison tower. Prison tower? Yeah, just further back there. I'm holding some Malacca. He got picked up by a patrol. Why did you lock him up? Orders! A few days in the clink and they're soon meek as lambs. <laughs> Gets them ready for when we put them to work for us. Speaking of work, are you looking to earn a bit of gold? What do you want me to do? I'm starving, but I can't go get some food until my relief gets here. That could be ages yet, and my belly isn't going to wait that long. So you want me to go get you food? Right, I've got this gold statue. Take it to Tito and swap it for a parcel of meat. Okay, it's a deal. Great. Here's the statue. And don't take too long, all right? I'm famished. Is Venturo here? No. You need to go a little further, into the Temple Valley. Thanks. But if he isn't there, you can follow the trail he leaves when he's in the jungle. What signs? Inquisition scouts leave them to mark out a trail. You can follow the trail if you know what to look for. So what do they look like? <laughs> You'll know them when you see them. Which way is the Temple Valley? Head back to the crossing and take the west path. Ignore the first turn left and go through the rocky arch. Through the rocky arch, got it. Leave the path right after the arch and keep left, then you'll be there. And watch out for Venturo's signs. Cannonball sent one of the most persistent pirate captains to the bottom of the ocean. Afterwards, it was seized by the Inquisition and taken on all their major expeditions as a good luck charm. That's worth remembering. Hey! What happened to you? No need to gloat, Gucho. I know it was my fault. Soon they'll be taking me to the stone camp.
Yeah. 